Good evening to all. Let's proceed further with the adequacy test uh, wherein I um, need to find out whether um, you know I can really uh, get some kind of factors uh, from my data set or not. Now here uh, you know this uh, the technical term that one uses is factorability. So we need to understand that under the adequacy test one of the uh, steps would be to find out the factorability uh, which means that again I'm repeating myself whether uh, certain factors can be found in the data set or not now uh, you will see that yes uh, the, you know there need to be uh, some kind of a checkpoints to understand whether this is feasible or not and accordingly we see that um, you know factorability of the data set okay the uh, test that we have got the which is also called as the sampling adequacy test there are two tests one is the Bartlett's test and the other one is the kaiser mayer olkin test which is also known as kmo test now i uh, i hope all of you know that in uh Niederzer's, uh, playlist we have uh, seen um you know uh, the way he has explained the factor abilities how to find out this one using sps's jamovi i think uh, even in our studios as well as the other softwares that we have got however in python how we are going to find it out is something that i'm more interested to know and to carry forward from there that's one point the second point uh, that you will see out here is that uh, uh, you know before i can proceed further with the butler's test or the kaiser mayer olkin test there are a few checkpoints that we need to understand and find it out as to what they are now, if I uh, proceed further in the uh, Bartlett test, you will see that this is uh, called as, I mean, I call them as the checkpoints for factor analysis because this really helps you to understand uh, basically whether I can uh, get some kind of factors from the data set or it's a futile attempt and blindly I'm doing it. So if you apply these two checkpoints in the form of the test, you would be able to understand. Now here you will see first one is called as the Bartlett's uh, test of sphericity. What does this mean? You will have to uh, question yourself and see is there any intercorrelation that you can find between the observed variables or not. So, uh, you know, uh, it should not be is it this has to be R. So are there any inter uh, correlation shifts? You know, that's what uh, you need to understand and find it out uh, whether there are or there are not. So, um, uh, you know, are there any inter correlation uh, correlations only I'm making it up between the observed variables, uh, whether it is present or not. Now, see. If you find it out that yes, there is um, the correlation, okay, we can proceed further. If you find that yes, there is no correlation, how would you find it out? Insignificant p-values, it is also called as the insignificant uh, statistically. So, uh, you know, if you find that yes, p-value is insignificant, that means that you cannot proceed further with the factor analysis. Remember this point. However, uh, if you feel that yes, there are, there is a significant p-value, that means uh, the data is showing to you that yes, it is significant uh, statistically. That means you can proceed further with the uh, factor analysis. So this is called as the Bartlett's test of sphericity. Now, you know, when I was trying to understand this thing, I thought, okay, uh, you know, creating a picture for myself in this manner really makes me understand, um, uh, you know, whether the Bartlett's test is successful for me or not. So what are the two points that you can remember? One observed correlation metrics and if you find that yes in this observed correlation metric you can see that there, is, there are uh, intercorrelation ships between the observed variables okay then you can proceed further. All right now test it all by yourself then apart from this one you have to even check out with the significant p-value if it is there that means that uh, we can proceed further with the factor analysis and uh, check it out against the identity metrics also 
okay wherein you get that one 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 kind of a thing now there also you will have to um, check out from there and then proceed further with this kind of a stuff so you will see that yes bartlett's test which is there of sphericity checks whether or not the observed variables are correlated with each other or not and this can be done by using the correlation matrix against the identity matrix if we find that yes the test is statistically insignificant which means if it is insignificant i cannot go ahead with the factor analysis if it is coming out to be a statistically significant one then you need to congratulate yourself and you can proceed further with the uh, factor analysis so this is what exactly i wanted to uh, uh, present out here about the bartlett test so that we can proceed further and we can uh, uh, you know go ahead with the test and here you will see a simple technique uh, which is present for the bartlett test um, you know which we can go ahead and write it down the code uh, you know which is present and that would be the code uh, i mean i have given the title already code for the bartlett test you can see from factor analyzer okay this is the name of my uh, package we are going to take the help of the factor analyzer then we, this is is going to be input i mean it is imported and then uh, you will see we are doing what we are calculating the bartlett sphericity uh, okay sphericity sorry then chi square value p value is equals to calculate uh, bartlett sphericity that means what here i have to calculate two things chi square value which gives me the correlation and p value whether it is significant or not and then i'll have to find out the chi square value as well as the p value simple as simple as that we all know that so what is it that we are checking out here check for the p value this shows that the test is uh, statistically significant one or not observed correlation matrix should not be is not an identity matrix also so these are the certain things that you need to understand while you are uh, proceeding further with the bartlett test so let me come up with the kmo test in my next video presentation till then thank you take care bye